All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined from across the world in the Loire Valley in France by Celine Santini. How are you doing, Celine? I'm very fine. Thank you for the invitation. I'm very straight. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. And Celine luckily lives in a fantastic wine producing region. So I'm sure like, uh, at least from the lockdown, you could stock up uh, on wine and uh, you know, go through the go through all the different varieties. <laughs> That's the advantage of being French. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. So Celine's an author of 20 books published in 10 countries and a coach in personal development, art therapy, blogger, illustrative children's books, and uh, and so many more. I could go on and on. Celine, you're a terribly busy person. <laughs> and, today, uh, and today we're going to talk about Kintsugi and and the art of resilience. So um, let's dive straight into it, Celine. So Kintsugi is a Japanese word, um, obviously. So maybe just explain where the or how you first came upon this and what it means and and how it uh, impacts. So maybe I can start by explaining what is Kintsugi. Yep. <laughs> uh, um, so as you said, it's a Japanese art. It's actually from the 15th century. And it used to be uh, just an art uh, to repair um, objects which have been broken. Uh, and they had this clever idea, instead of hiding the scars, they said, what if we uh, underline the scars with real gold? So um, that's the idea of Kintsugi. It's thinking out of the box uh, instead of trying to to hide, to display, to show. And obviously it's a powerful metaphor. That's what is very interesting in Kintsugi is that it's not just an art, it's also a metaphor for life and also of, obviously for resilience. And of course, during these days, with the lockdown and everything, the pandemic uh, situation, uh, the re resilience uh, uh, notion and word and mm -hmm. philosophy is very important. So um, let me show you uh, f so that people understand it very quickly. Uh, yep. This is a normal ball, you know, and this is the same ball, but Kintsugi, Kintsugi processed. So that means that this ball have been broken and repaired with real gold and obviously this ball was interesting, but this one now is unique, you know? The idea of behind Kindugi that you have been broken, but it can actually be an opportunity. It can be a chance uh, to, and you have to embrace your scars instead of uh, trying to hide your own history. Yeah, no, that's, that's really interesting because obviously the natural instinct is to, bury things and hide them away and try and present the most perfect uh, profile or image that you can to the world. So what you're saying is, in actual fact, what makes you far more interesting and and more, I would say, you're more real is when you when you actually embrace the things that have maybe impacted you, maybe the things that have broken you per se, and you bring them to the fore rather than hiding them. Exactly. Um, well, you, you just summarized very right uh, the philosophy behind. Um, that's this kind of motto of Kintsugi, which is uh, perfectly imperfect. And that the, the idea that uh, uh, you, um, you are not perfect, but uh, since you have been repaired with gold, you have, you have chosen actually the most precious metal in the world to, to repair yourself. So the metaphor here it is to, to, to underline that you actually deserve to put gold on your scars. Uh, so it's really a philosophy, uh, a very optimistic philosophy. Uh, the idea is what does not kill you makes you stronger, you know, mm -hmm. this very famous quote, but it's really Kintsugi, um, Kintsugi minded. Um, the idea that you are um, stronger uh, once you have been repaired with the Kintsugi method, but you are also uh, more precious because it's gold and obviously mm -hmm. more beautiful and more interesting. It shows you also the, the unicity of your own path. Uh, because every, everybody has been broken in a different way. Uh, and now the idea of Kintsugi is that we assume that we are uh, unique in the world. Yeah. I, and I guess um, 
for a lot of people watching or listening, uh, they may think, okay, sounds good, but how do I start, you know, how do I start even uncovering the things that maybe are broken? Because sometimes they're not always obvious. And then how do I accept them and, and allow myself to, if you like, to make them public as opposed to keeping it all under wraps? Well, um, th there's something very intimate about uh, showing your scars. Um, you, it's actually displaying yourself. It's exposing you. Uh, mm -hmm. Word in French, when we say expose, expose, it means exhibit, like an, an exhibit of art, but it also means exposure, like um, showing your vulner vulnerability. So I think that uh, Kinzugi is about uh, embracing, as you said before, your vulnerability. And, and actually, it has uh, two... Um, two advantages. First, the fact that you um, feel repaired. The fact that you show to the world uh, that your, your own kinziki, your own wants repaired, it's, uh, it's part of your healing process and your resilience process. But the second uh, aspect of kinziki is also inspiration. Because uh, what I love about kinziki is that you can show to the world, look what I've been through. But you know what? I have survived. Because you know everybody has survived uh, one hundred percent of of their uh, own wants, you know. So the fact that you show it, you actually give inspiration for the people who are who may have have been at the first step uh, of the broken stage, and and they need hope. So if you say, okay, look what I've been through, but uh, I've been through it, and you can do it too. So that's very inspiring. So that's why I love Kinzuki. It's so so powerful. Yeah, so how does somebody go about starting to repair themselves in this way and get ready to present themselves the new improved gold <laughs> gold embossed you are you talking um metaphor metaphorically or uh, more practically because more, pra more like practically mm -hmm. okay um well you've got uh, several solutions you can start by just watching uh, the picture of a kinzuki. Even if you don't uh, process one, you, just watching a kinzuki can actually heal yourself. That's actually what uh, you asked me at the beginning. I didn't answer how I got encountered to, with kinzuki. It's actually when I saw my first kinzuki picture. Um, by chance, I was reading in a magazine. I saw the kinzuki word and I typed kinzuki on the internet, and then I see this beautiful picture and. In one moment, in one second, in one instant, uh, I felt like something was getting repaired in, inside myself. Um, I show you just an example of the kind of picture you can you can find. Um, so oh, you yeah. see, for instance, uh, mm -hmm. it's very it's very powerful, obviously, uh, because um, this this piece of art shows uh, all all. all embrace the scars as, as we said before yeah. uh, sorry no no go ahead go ahead um so the first so what i was saying in that uh, the first idea is that you can just watch as i just showed you some pictures and something can already uh, get repaired inside and after that you can go deeper in the process and try yourself the method and You've got two solutions there. Uh, you can either try the real traditional Kinzugi method, which is, of course, time consuming and quite demanding because it's a Japanese art. So you mm -hmm. have to take lessons, etc. But it's worth, uh, of course, uh, the, the effort. But you can also, and um, actually, um, some people think it's not very um, stylish, but I think it's interesting too to do what they call faux kinzuki, fake kinzuki, with just glue and 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 fake gold powder. I think the it's art art therapy. And as long as it works, uh, I don't care if it's not real gold, uh, as long mm -hmm. as it's it's uh, symbolic for you and that and it repairs something deep inside. So people here have several solutions. You can also, of course, uh, ask a Kinjigi artist to repair a very uh, meaningful object that you have broken 
etc etc the resolution you have to go to the one that you feel more um most appealed to right and then and then obviously when you go through this process then you can start to apply it to your own self right is exactly. i mean you start to realize that okay if i can take this broken thing here and make it look good again and whatever and invest in it because it has some meaning some object that has some meaning to me now i can start to look at maybe there are pieces of me that are broken that i can start to reassemble exactly um you you mentioned something very important here i um when i first make, met kinzuki i was uh, um, amazed by the final process the final object and i i could have stopped there but when i tried the method and i started with the traditional one um I realized that actually each step of the repair is in itself very meaningful too. So um, you've got actually six phases, six stages um, to repair Kinzuki piece. So the first one is uh, when you break. And here, obviously, um, the the myth, me, metaphor is obviously the this moment when you feel like you are broken into a thousand pieces and that's what that's when you decide to choose the kinzugi method so that's what when you de you decide that you actually have value that you mm -hmm. are worth being repaired so that's very important step uh, step one break and the step two is uh, the step when you assemble the pieces so you start to gather the pieces like a three dimension puzzle and sometimes you know you might uh, have missed one piece, you know, or it's too mm -hmm. broken. And here the symbology is that Kinzugi will always find a solution because you can, with the Kinzugi method, you can always replace the missing part, whether you um, redo it or you can actually take it from another piece. I show you an example because uh, mm. you will understand immediately what I am talking about. I, I, I love this this um, piece oh, because yeah, yeah. it's been repaired with a turtle shell. Uh, so it's uh, like poetry plus turtle shell. So I think it's so creative. Um, and the idea here, uh, the myth metaphor, is that you can actually uh, seek help uh, from outside when you get repaired. You don't have to stay uh, within just yourself. You can. Uh, you know, one plus one equals three, and that two. Yeah. And I guess, um, I guess the other the other part of that too is just saying you don't have to build it back exactly the way it was before. You yeah. so you can bring in a different element into it, maybe something that was missing in your life that now by adding it in, you come out even stronger or more beautiful, as you said there. With yeah, the piece but, of but the beauty of Kintiki is that it's so much more interesting than something like uh, processed or, uh, you know, doing a, a, on a big scale. It's uh, so unique. Um, and after, if you want to go on with the metaphor, uh, all the other steps are interesting too, because uh, there's the weight stage, the one, uh, because the, um, the lacquer they use needs like eight days to, to dry. So it's not like a super glue. It's very, right. it's very, uh, it's very long. And obviously it reminds us that some things cannot be rushed, uh, whether it's physical, like a physical one that you would uh, move too fast, you, of course you wouldn't heal, or it can be of course also emotional. If you move too fast, uh, sometimes it's too soon. So Kinzugi is here to remind us that too. So you see how symbolic it is. Um, and after that, the step four, which is yeah, just just before you go to that, though, I just yeah. wanted to do, um, uh, just go back on what you said there about weight. And I think that's a really incredibly important one here, because we live in a world today where nobody has any patience, everybody expects that's things right. immediately, yeah. instant gratification. So actually, teaching yourself patience and the ability to wait to see something done properly it's almost counter culture today but i mean it's it's incredibly important because as you say um things when you're repairing things when you're making things better it, often it can't be rushed yes uh, i can't i can't agree more <laughs> it, it, you're right we are in an age we are not um, used to wait anymore uh, whether it's you know for ordering a movie we have got mm -hmm. it instantly or uh, even a date we've got it instantly it's uh, it's amazing but in a way um 
it's, it's, it's amazing how this ancient art from the 15th century, which seems so old and old fashioned, is actually uh, giving us uh, so vivid lessons. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's uh, thrilling, you know. <laughs> it's like that old uh, saying, isn't it? The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, here they don't stay the same with skins again in the church, yeah. but, uh, very slowly. <laughs> yeah, but no, but I meant in that the wisdom, you know, that you can go through all these changes, but the underlying wisdom remains the same. Um, so your next, your next stage is repair. That's right. Uh, so repair at this moment when they use a red lacquer and they put it on each uh, a scar to uh, consolidate the repair and to wet a tight it. And uh, I think it's very interesting because uh, the fact that they use red lacquer here is also symbolic too because it reminds us of veins, like uh, uh, you know the blood uh, flowing. It's like the life is flowing back into the piece, and mm -hmm. obviously symbolically speaking, at the moment when we are almost there, when we are uh, almost ready to live again, you know, to put uh, life back into our lives. Uh, so, and after on, on this, this, the step five is the, the one when we, um, um, so it's break, assemble, wait, repair, reveal. It's when mm -hmm. we reveal with the gold, so at last. <laughs> so actually, um, the first time I met Kinzugi, I, I, um, I was mistaken. I really thought it, they used like uh, melted gold. Uh, but they don't. They actually uh, use gold powder and they sprinkle the gold dust uh, directly into the red lacquer. And mm. these particles recreate the golden lines. And obviously here the metaphor is this moment when you uh, embrace your scars, as we said before, and you reveal yourself to the world uh, like shiny and sparkling and uh, so, so much... Uh, uh, so proud of your scars, mm -hmm. uh, but and and you could s uh, stop here at step five. But there's a sixth step, like the secret sixth step I love, uh, which is the sublimate part. Uh, and it's it's actually it makes sense because you know it's gold we use, and mm -hmm. even if it's gold powder, it's still gold uh, and it's a metal, so we can polish it, we can burnish it. So they use a special tool and they burnish each line and each line shines even more and sparkles. And, and that's the, of course, the symbology here is this moment when we are ready to show it to the world, not just for ourselves, but now to the world. The, what we discussed uh, in the introduction, mm -hmm. the fact that you can inspire other people. Mm -hmm. And you can, and as you said, I mean, the part you can continue to improve it, like make it shinier, all of those things. So it's a metaphor for, yeah, you're introducing your, your new self to the world, but you're not stopping there. Exactly. And the beauty with Kinzugi is that you can get broken again. Uh, <laughs> it will be even more beautiful after. So you are not afraid anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you're not afraid to... To, you know, to, to go into the life, uh, to, you know, to confront, confront you to the real life. You don't have to stay hidden in a cabinet, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a, wonder, a great place to finish, too. I, I love that idea of the fact that, um, you know, you go through this process. And as you say, I mean, it's almost like as you march forward through life, you almost welcome, uh, you almost welcome the things that try to break you because you think, it's okay, I'm going to rebuild it back better anyway. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's a perfect conclusion indeed, because Kinzuki, as, as we said before, is such an optimistic message uh, that when you get this metaphor, uh, when you know it, when you, you can uh, infuse it in you, and now you feel more confident and stronger and more precious, obviously. Yeah, no, fantastic. Uh, listen, this has been fantastic and really great inspiration for people. Um, all of Celine's information is going to be below this video uh, with all the links. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Um, you mean uh, my writing? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, I uh, write about self-help in general and obviously resilience in particular, uh, but also a lot uh, about... Um, um, uh, positive education and meditation for children that's another mm. theme i love yeah yeah i tell you there's a lot of kids could do with learning meditation that's for sure mm -hmm. um 
especially in the world that they're in today taking some calm moments would be would be very especially, good yeah yeah sure yeah yeah everybody wins there you go um well listen celine this has been fantastic as i said all celine's information will be below this video um my name is john golden says pop online says magazine pipeline and crm i will see you all for another interview very soon thank you thank you Thank you.